like I always say. Ready? Yep. The Unknown Zone. Talk show, talk show. Zone Unknown. Talk show, talk show. How the hell you find it? In your overpriced high-tech telephone. Deep in your bones. Underneath a pile of stones. It's some kind of virus. Deep in your nose, in between your toes. Smack dab in the middle of your split crotch panty hose. The unknown show. The unknown show. The unknown zone. And now, the Ruth Bader Ginsburg of Brooklyn Public Access, Yvonne DeLay. Woo! It's Delette, but that's okay. Delette. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. We never did. You should see how Gerard always fucks it up. Hey, hi, everyone. Welcome. Hello, Welcome. Hello. I'm, I'm your host, Yvonne DeLette. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your host, Yvonne Dillette, of the Unknown Zone Talk Show. Welcome. This is our quote-unquote last show. I'm going to just say in this incarnation, because I don't know what's next. I have a lot of stuff. We're going to talk about it. But before we get into everything, um, I want to introduce my special guest today, uh, Michael Soros, who is a photographer. I'm going to, I'm just guessing, photographer. Are you a web designer? Web designer. Uh, yeah. Sim card specialist. Sim card specialist. Sim card specialist. That's right. Uh, but he can press buttons. Yeah. Buttons. A recovery friend. Your your um, recovery button friend. Finger, huh? Button finger. Button finger. Button finger. Button Reiki finger. master. Reiki yeah. master. That's why, that's I didn't know why I that. Have, uh, gloves oh. on. Yeah. Oh really? Live on the air one. The live Reiki yes. session. Yes. 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 <laughs> um, well, welcome, welcome. Today we have Gerard Mignon, my sidekick and clowny, or as I like to call him, Sloppy Seconds. <laughs> Yeah, I shouldn't be looking at the screen. I should be looking at the camera. At the camera. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Do you think you think I would? I be, I just started doing this. It's, we it's, would think. You, you would think. This been, is. Yeah. Do you know this is the ninth year I've been doing the show? Wow. How long have you? How many years have you been with us? Uh, <laughs> with 11? us. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. A little more. <laughs> I'm not a morning person, so the math is not working. <laughs> That's anymore. okay. It sounds right, though. Yeah. It does sound right. Um, <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh, this is the show that begs to ask the question: Is why is it wrong if a colleague? asked to masturbate in front of you um, if they ask nicely. That's not the way I put it. I had it so much better. Yeah, fucking, better that's why I write. Better. You write stuff down. Can we fuck up the introduction. I know. I fucked something show. up. Yeah, I yeah, fucked yeah. it up. <laughs> this is the show that begs to ask the question, is it all right to masturbate in front of a colleague if you ask nicely? Why uh, is that even a question? What? I had my hand down here. I wanted to put it up after you asked the question. Yeah, wear <laughs> your hands. Yeah, yeah, wear your hands, Michael. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Wear your hands. Uh, <laughs> I mean, listen, I, 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 we obviously know the answer to that. The answer is, th what the fuck is wrong with you? Really, that is the answer. Um, there's a comedian named Ted Alexandro who did a six-minute bit, which I um, emailed. I should have emailed it to you. I emailed it to Gerard. He didn't mm. watch it. And um, right, Clowny, did you watch that? <laughs> no, cool. That's awesome. That's why it's the last show. Um, <laughs> Maybe. Well, you Maybe. Paid. You paid what them. is the final tour? <laughs> I know. I know. You think we're so funny. We should get paid. Yeah. Um, the, what do they say when it's the final tour and then they have five more tours after that? They say the farewell final tour. Farewell tour. Farewell tour. Mm. This is the farewell show mm -hmm. for the Unknown Zone talk show. Because what do you want to tell about what's going on in your life at, at the moment? Or? Um, yes. Well, we were talking about the masturbation thing, and then we'll get into that. I thought that was what's going on in your life. <laughs> get, well, uh, you know. Okay. Let's. You know. Let's get the hat. Let's. What I what I thought we'd do different today is I have topics and we'll, we never get to all of them. Well, I'm still my mind is still trying to finish the thing about the clip. So you you set this clip around of yeah, the like comedian. Okay, thank you. Right. See, he yes, he, yes, he, yes. he went on a tan he went on a separate tangent. My brain was, was on a cliff. And I felt bad. What are we gonna do now? Thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you Michael. That's why I asked you to be on the show. Um, what well, it's a clip about his, the the comedian's name is Ted Alexandro. And he did, it, he was very sarcastic, but he was saying, like, what, you know, what's happened to stand-up comedy? Why, what's with this PC culture? You know, and then he goes into why, why is it such a big deal if someone, if someone asks you nicely, if they can masturbate to completion in front of you, as a gentleman, what, like, what's the big deal? And I, the way he worded it was hilarious. You know, and, and what my, what my favorite, one of my favorite lines in it was, he said, um, he said, if you would have asked me in the 90s, um, which one would have become president if 
or would be in jail for rape, um, either Donald Trump or Bill Cosby, he said, I would have got that wrong. You know, one. you know, and, you know, listen, it, it, he got laughs. It, it's not funny, but it's, you know, it's just the truth. And I think a lot of comedians now and people in general, I love you, Fan. I love her face. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I live for the clown. Could we uh, hurry with the <laughs> masturbation thing? <laughs> um, no, I, I thought she was actually very interesting. She looked in, maybe interested. Or, well, that's interesting her, perception. I think it's funny the point of to completion. <laughs> <laughs> right. As opposed to just right. pulling it out and wanging well, it a little bit. <laughs> exactly. And but this is the thing. This is see. This is, I've had discussions with people with with comedians. I hope on this guy was white. Please God. He was. White. Oh, thank he you. was. I'm just you know. Yeah. We have what? enough trouble. <laughs> oh yeah 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 yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I know. Um, but the, and the point was, uh -huh. see, I've I've had this discussion with other comedians or or people on Facebook, and someone actually said, you know, like it's different. In, in, the, in the entertainment business as opposed to like, I said, if someone, I will work in a law firm, if someone said that to me or anybody, they'd be gone in two seconds. It's insane. Yeah, why would it be different in the entertainment business? Right, why would it be different anywhere? But would it, uh, it just seems like, even with the Catholic Church stuff, that there was a time they just didn't know what, how to handle it. And I mean, obviously this stuff's still going on now, but it just seems, it just seems like it's, we were we were at a time where we would take it. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying oh, absolutely. we would take it. But well, now we won't. Or now we yes. like, we like. But even if you look back at TV shows well, that don't have black people in them, or they, you know, you you like or huh? Asians or Asians. Or Asians. But especially, but, it, but I would say even in, uh, you know in stereotypical roles. Right. Right. I mean, well, uh, the, well, crazy we've come. Angry listen, Asians. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not watching. I'm not seeing it. I can't even get past the I title. I know. <laughs> no, so it's fun. It's a fun movie. Is it a fun, fun movie? movie? Okay. You have to be gay, and then you appreciate oh, it. No. <laughs> I made 100 something million dollars, and not all gay dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Asians. Asian dollars Asians. and gay dollars. Yes. Yeah, that's so it. No, listen. The people like I listen. Go to whatever you want. It's a funny movie. It's it's not. Is it? It's not intended to be the Godfather. Right. It's just it's got a lot of splash. Uh -huh. and silly jokes, and someone named Aquafina, who I never heard of, is really funny. Who hosted Saturday Night Live. Yes, she did. And she was very good. Yeah. Um, Hers doesn't. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Saturday Night Live. I, I was not, just getting yeah. on the title, just the title. The right, movie yeah, might be exactly. Funny, well, but I, the, the title. I, I'm with Michael on this. Anyway, yeah. so <laughs> I don't know why. Not me, why. too. <laughs> <laughs> but the point that I, to, to uh, address what you're talking about, and you bring up, uh, it's exactly the, the valid point of. Before, um, let's say the last 10, 20, 30, 40, you know, women's lib, 50 years, women, you know, first of all, women would get beaten and they, they, if that was their lot, they would accept it. It wasn't discussed. You didn't get help. Sometimes maybe, but not often. You know, obviously um, molestation. You know, and, and Hollywood, I mean, I mean, who hasn't heard a million times how, Marilyn, how many people Marilyn Monroe had to sleep with to get yeah. to where she finally didn't have to sleep with people? These gross, disgusting White guys. She upgraded, Most, she upgraded I'm sure it was all white guys. To Kennedy. Yeah. Excuse me? <laughs> she upgraded to Kennedy. Yes, she did upgrade to Kennedy. Well, that, yeah, but that was more of a choice. Shame. Good point. Right? You didn't talk about it. It's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something about the Bill Cosby thing, which blew my freaking mind. Okay, so how, and Ted Alexandra talks about, you know, just as how it took, uh, what's Beres, Beres, Beryl, what's his name? Uh, uh, I can't remember, this black comedian spoke about Bill Cosby and it took that going viral for it to come out and something to be done that was going on for like 20 years. And, uh, and once, once all these women came out, because back in the day, you know, women weren't believed, <coughs> right? shame, shame was one, women weren't believed, and also they didn't want to, if they had any uh, possibility of having a career, you couldn't say anything. You know, but Bill and also Cosby. he was number one show. Exactly. What are you gonna? And he's a father. You're, you're like gonna the go father out there the and year. put yourself. You're gonna get your head like a guillotine. Exactly. So it took all these years, yeah. and I actually am friends with. Uh, yeah, black. You can black. play African American. Yeah, you can I, you sneak know, Negro I'm, in. Uh, maybe at halftime. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just you know, to me, shame, fear, and disbelief. Thank you, Clowny. Yeah. Thank you. Well, um, is when the when the Cosby stuff first really started coming out. This um, black woman that I'm friends with, lawyer, didn't believe the women. She was like, oh, all they care about is money. And I, it blew my mind because I knew there was no way. And once, especially once I heard the Beverly Johnson well, story. let's back up a little bit with that. Sure. Right? Because, ahead, because sure. that fits into the whole narrative of believe the girl, right? There's this kind right. of thing like believe right. the girl. Right. And then I bring up Emmett Till. 
where they believed the girl, they beat the shit out of the boy, and they killed him. Mm. And it turns out the girl was lying. Mm. So, and that was like a devastating result. So this, this culture of believe the girl is kind of like, a, a, it's kind of like a, a, a turn the light on, you know, so we can sure. start seeing. Yeah. But it's, but, but, you know, but it's well, so, still so. due process. Yeah, right, you but, but, I, right, right. but, I'm, but yeah. I'm saying like, like, so, so it's not unrealistic, you know, given that women are their own thinkers, ambitious, whatever, having to use the mechanisms they've had to use, which is probably labeled deception to get what they want. So it's and you know yeah. so it's not unrealistic that a woman would like that 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 not just women but money would be a motivation. Of course, it has happened before. So so it's not an unrealistic thing. It's just that um, it's it's that where it's hitting us in this way that makes us feel like it's this unrealistic thing. Okay, well let me right? as a woman, and I hear you. Now what happened to that guy? That's a <laughs> shame. That's out. a that, that's a shame. <laughs> that's a bummer. Believe the white girl. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm in love white with this clown. White girls are always right. I know, <laughs> right? we all are. Oh, she's, she's fucking so you, the best. Do you believe that white girl? She's the best. The she lies girl. all the time. Well, let, let's, let's she's just look other at this. signs. Let's just look at right. this. Let's just look at this. For from now, since time began, women have been abused forever and never believed. Okay, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. I know. Okay. So I'm not saying believe every woman. You have to. There's due pro. You have to. You don't just believe the first thing. Right. And there's no, there's no reason for that guy to have gotten killed over that. So that's an extreme case. But it's no. I mean, the uh, no. You know, that's that. There's a historical, and this is probably better in a dis racial discussion. But there is there is a historical pattern of. Um, I don't know if you heard of Black Wall Street. I think what triggered that was a woman, um, guys who, a woman who said she was raped by a black guy, who turned out was a friend of hers, and it, that wasn't true. Mm -hmm. And there's other instances of that happening. A white woman says, "I was raped by this." Sure, black and that's guy. terrible. I'm not saying and, that's. And this yeah. huge big thing happens as a result of it. So, so, so what's so, the answer? So, so what I'm saying is that is that. You know, it's a this is a complicated um, mechanism, but at the absolutely. to me at the root of this, right? Because I because you're right in a sense that there, you know, even if you look in the Bible, if there's a historical like women not being taken seriously, they don't even give you their names. They're just property. I, I as a I, I as right? a, a cringe comedian, you don't even know how many times guys will um, like because of my my kind of humor. Guys will assume that I'm easy and they can just like be right, creeping right, with me right, and how right, I've had right, to set right. them straight and I will right. and I do, you know. But there are guys that completely respect me and they get it and go, they go with me. And then, like when I play poker, most of the guys are really respectful and the ones that aren't get shut down instantly. They also know you. They also know your humor. No, but that over right, time. right. So but there are guys. I'm there actually are guys. Your point by accident. Right? Yeah, yeah. But right. no, but there are guys that, that think because I'm <laughs> open-minded and I speak my truth and I'm, you know, uh, just edgy, that that means I'm easy, and that they can cross a line just even verbally that creeps me out, and I have to I have to cut them off right away because it's like fuck you. Shut. I'm. Do, I can't say my thing without you. Like. Do you, do you cut off the cute ones? <laughs> Never. Oh. Never. Yeah, so I no, no, anyone. If it's well, creepy, it's creepy. Yeah, I, mean, it's, I, I, it's, yeah, I, I have to double do a double take. Though. That's the thing, too. It's a case-by-case -case basis, and, you know, it's like um, all the pedophiles in the Catholic Church. You know, it's slowly but surely being brought up and being brought out and being dismantled. You know, that's how, you know, nothing's perfect. It's like when I have discussions with what's, people. What's being dismantled? Uh, Exposed all the um, pedophiles, the pedophiles. Right. Okay. You know, so, so it, it so comes it's out, it goes away, it comes out, it go, it's going to keep coming out right. because. And there are methods of dealing with it. I mean, I, exactly. you know, because I've thought about this. Exactly. I, I, I've thought about this not uh, just from a religious point of view, right? Mm -hmm. Which is which which is a, a really fascinating uh, book, maybe for a hundred years from now, when all the pedophiles are dead and gone and buried and everything in life is happy. But just the yes. idea that <laughs> you're exactly. in yes. you're in you're in the arena of forgiveness and and dealing with sin. <laughs> and, well, I know. Well, and and pedophiles walking, are smart. They know well, where to go to. Right, you right, know, right. Hide. But I mean, but see, but but when I think, but so when I think about pedophile and mm. and um, and justice, mm -hmm. I'm thinking from that point of view, like you know, cut their dick off, you know, put them in jail, it's, kill them. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. I'm thinking punishment. If you're, I put them on like a pedophile island. 
<laughs> they, they tried that with uh, <laughs> New Zealand <laughs> or uh, really? they put all the prisoners. Actually, Aust no, just Aust pedophiles. Australia, Australia wasn't a penal colony. Just, just, just penal. That's ironic. They, it's they got pedophile. some beautiful people there, but the kangaroos are crazy. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, but, but so, um, so, but if you're, but from a religious point of view, mm -hmm. right, if, you know, you're in the business of, you know, helping people come to forgiveness, of forgiving, of dealing with God. Right. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, what do you do? Do you know? I mean, it's, you know, like, what do you do? I'm what not do you saying mean, to the pedophiles. To, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, look, you got these people who are sinning, and they come right. to you, and 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 you and and you, you're not you're not the criminal justice system. You're, you're like, you know. Who are you, know, you talking about? I'm talking about the, the church. What does what the church do? They do? do? What do you they do? You hand them over to law enforcement because they've committed crimes. So there's it's a, a difference. So okay, so you're they saying you know that, that today. I don't right, give a right. shit about no, religion. No, no, see, I, I, we're they getting emotional about this. So I, what I, no, no, I'm I, being I, honest. Right, no, no, what I'm saying is, so there is a difference in what sin. What did Clowney say? What? So <laughs> hypocrisy. <laughs> Even spelled wrong, it still is the same crap. Okay, thing. okay so, exactly. so what you're saying is there's she a difference between. Wrong too. I don't give a shit. There's going to be a K in there. Right, there's a difference. So with K and D I C K. There's no contradiction. Con Contradic no, there's no K in contradiction. Dick. There's a dick. Dick. K dick. There's a dick. Okay. There's no K. So you, you're within kidding, the right? realm of yeah. sin, within the realm of sin, <laughs> yeah. There is so so so. Well, you're, you're being way so too crime, cerebral. Crime, crime. Well, I am being a little because I, I I'm okay. you know. I, if because, you're molested, you know, I'm going to ask you a question. You're a, you're a child. You're molested by a priest. What do you want to happen? Okay. You, so you just that's that's what I'm saying. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I'm saying that that there's two there's two avenues here. I'm not excusing anything. I'm just saying that. If you know, I'm you know, I like forgive them, if I'm a jail. judge, if I'm a cop, that I'm thinking, if yeah. I'm, you know, I'm a lay person, I'm thinking cr justice from the position of that. Well, I'm but if I'm if I'm in the religion, if I'm in the religion business, I'm not thinking. So I mean, I, you know, I just brought it up as a as a as religion. a subject of thought. Right. Okay. I'm going to take it a step do, further right? in a compassion. I'm going to be compassionate. You ready for this? You're not. You won't. You're not going to be expecting this. <laughs> they clearly have a mental illness. They have a they have a, a, disease. a disease. A disease, without a doubt. And of course, I believe that most, if not all, pedophiles were probably uh, molested as child as children themselves. So I don't know. You know, I don't. Can they be healed? I don't know. So I, in my mind, anyone that's committed any crime needs to be healed somehow. And I think jails are crazy anyway. But I don't know what you do with them. But you have to take, you can't just, you know, they have to go right. somewhere and they have to. And that's to, the issue. What they, they, they don't you know. think they can be cured. Right. But, but they still but have to be taken years, out of where they out. are. You know, the yeah, molesting do, has they, to stop instantly. Right. But if they do 20 years instantly. in jail, the concern is when but, they get out, what's going to happen? But I'm saying, right, exactly. I'm saying jail isn't the answer for anyone who's committed any crime. S an institution, like they have in jails, in some jails now, they do, they um, have tried meditation. They've, they bring, it, bring in dogs that need to be trained. I mean, these are things, this is all the stuff that's been missing. They bring, it, bring in dogs that need to be trained. I mean, these are things, this is all the stuff that's been missing from these people's life. They, I'm sure they all had horrible childhoods and or, you know, pov poverty-stricken childhoods where they had no hope. And the whole system needs to be turned around to something where even if, even if let's say, pedophiles have to be in an institution the rest of their lives, something that's healing for them you know what i'm saying like you know they ha because you don't want them to perpetuate that crime <laughs> ever again well, I think celibacy maybe i mean whatever nice i don't think it's i don't think it's i don't believe i really don't believe in punishment you know yes i get emotional i get angry that this stuff happens absolutely but i also know the solution isn't more punishment for them but they have to be taken away taken out of society and it'd be where nice they can if they actually did get some sort of i don't say cure but to a certain level where they can teach something about this to so, so down there, the line. Right. So there needs to be there needs to be a better relationship between non religious church people and church people. Because if church people are left to themselves, all they have is their craziness, right? Right. I mean some of it's crazy, some of it's not. But you know, so and then, you know, so so there has so you have to pull them out of that environment. Because there's no, there's no, I don't see any, I don't see any, uh, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe, you know, the days, you know, so, and then, you know, so, so there has, so you have to pull them out of that environment because there's no, there's no, I don't see any, I don't see any, uh, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe, 
you know, the days when if you were a, if you were a follower of Jesus, they, they would kill you. Or if you weren't, they would kill you. Like those days seem to be a little bit waning. Although I think they're trying to bring them back now. <laughs> they're waning. Mm -hmm. That happens, well, in, the middle, happens in the Middle East. You know what it is? In the the, right. You know what the bottom, here's the bottom, the bottom line is when people are insecure, they try to manipulate people and use power to make themselves feel good, like Donald Trump. So right. until we get, pe until people have self-esteem, where it's like, you know, it's the old thing, misery loves company. If you're miserable, you want someone else to be miserable too. If you're happy, don't you want other people to be happy? Like when I, my, my cup is full or, you know, overflowing, let us say, because you're supposed to not give. My one spiritual principle I heard is that we don't give until our cup is overflowing. Because when my cup is half full, I, and, you know, I'm, I, don't, I, have, I feel like I have nothing to give. I've also heard saying, uh, let your mess age before trying to carry it. You what? Let your mess age before <laughs> trying to carry it to others. What does that mean? This whole step about um, mess giving age. your mess Oh, mess your mess age. 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 Mess age. That's wow, funny. I'm going to have to yeah. think about that one. That's deep. So that's deep. I mean, I feel like I feel like um, I feel like, um, I feel like um, <laughs> oh, thank you. You're yeah, welcome. I think Connie's too. the voice of reason today, honestly. Right. Well, yeah. well, because we're going to wrap. You know, we're going to go into something else. These are mushy. These are mushy, yeah, of course. complicated subjects. Of course. Very emotional. You know, I mean, I, I feel the same way. You know, it, it makes me angry. It makes me fearful. It makes me sometimes feel powerless. You know, like what do we do with this? You know what I mean? Right. Right. And and you know, and I think the the the, the masturbation idea. You know, the question. Is Full an, circle. It's an interesting. It's an interesting Completion. question, because sexual, <laughs> se because it, it, you know, uh, you know, criminal behavior mm -hmm. and and uh, mental illness dysfunction aside, right? Because there's just right, sure. there's just a level of crazy people out right, there just absolutely. doing nasty stuff, absolutely, right? Absolutely, yes. You know, but like, how do we interact sexually with each other? And I mean, right. Just and as, that's as the people, problem. Yes, because it, we we kind of are repressed, and then we right, act out all over the place. Right. Right. And what like you know. What is, where's the happy medium where we can just feel free to say, you know, to talk about stuff or to like give someone a hug and it doesn't have to be. It's Layered in lay craziness. Exactly. Yes.